In this video, I'm going to be taking popular memes and turning them into fun. Let's go! First meme we got is Toothless Dancing. And this dragon comes from the movie How to Train Your Dragon. He's pretty much dancing to a song called Driftville City, which comes from the Pokemon Black and White games. And this song would be perfect for a Drift Funk song because it's called Driftville City. Get it? Drift? Yeah, never mind. Let's get it. I'll set the tempo to 98. I'll start off with a kick and snare. Pretty basic. Then I'll throw in some hi-hats, open hi-hat on the off beats, and close hi-hats, just doing that. Then I wanted to add like a snare and tom fill in the intro, so I put like a triplet snare, then two toms panned left and right. The snare wasn't sticking out in the drum beat, so I layered a snare on another snare. <laughs> Hold up, I layered a snare on it. Th <laughs> Let me try again. I layered a snare on another snare. <laughs> That sounds so messed up. Then I resampled the kick, then reversed it, and here's the beat I got. Now I'll find a cowbell and draw the melody from the Driftville City theme. I'll add another one that plays the high part, and another one that plays the low part, and then another one. Then I'll put some reverb on it, then I'll cut the low end using an EQ so I can fill this area with a sub bass. Then I added another one that has a more wider bass sound. If you have no idea what I mean by this, let's compare the two. Here's one with only the sub bass. And here's one with the sub and the wide bass. You can feel the difference, assuming you have good headphones. And if you don't, you go on a now I'll add some ad libs and top it off with a Memphis rap song I found from the sample pack. Clip the entire track because, you know, this is a funk song at the end of the day. And this is what I got. What about Giga Chad, the most iconic man on the internet, that he even has his own theme song? The original song comes from Bring Me The Horizon, Can You Feel My Heart? Dang, this song is 10 years old? This reminds me of my emo year. I'm curious to hear one where there's epic orchestral music, Brazil funk, and heavy bass music all combined in one. I'll set the BPM to around 105. I'll let the cowbell play the main melody. Then I'll add some strings to layer it with the cowbell. And then, wants to brass. Like seriously, it's literally cold. Wants to brass. I mean, just hear it. Now I was having some issues adding a choir because there just wasn't enough range on the sample library. So what I did is I played the part in the lower key, resampled the choirs, and then pitched it up to the key of the song, which is E flat, Phrygian dominant. Here's what it sounds like so far. Now for the bass, I'm not gonna go with just a Brazil bass one-shot sample and just throw it in and call it a day. I wanted to create my own bass sound. I went ahead and load up some serums, played with some effects such as saturation, EQs, compressors, pedal effects, and try. And after a couple of hours working on it, I would like to reveal Super Bass. Now the bass was lacking, so I added the sub. So far I have the epic orchestral sounds, and I have the heavy bass sounds. Now I need the Brazil funk sounds. I'm gonna start with a kick and snare, doing the boom cha cha, boom cha, boom cha cha, boom cha. I'm not even on tempo. Now I have the tambourine. I added a lot of percussive elements to make this drum beat more exciting. Now I wasn't feeling the kick on this drum beat, so what I did, I resampled the kick, and then I demolished it with a drop, and then I reversed the kick. Now it's not a Brazil uh, funk uh, track without uh, some ad libs, and I also put some auto tune on them to make it stand out in the mix. Don't forget the reverb, delay, yeah. This is what I got. <laughs> Up next, we got Skibbity Toilet, which is a Gmon anime series from the channel The Fuck Boom, and it's captivated millions of Gen Alpha kids that it's now causing Skibbity Toilet Syndrome. And I think a Crush Funk style encapsulates the Skibbity Toilets. First thing I did was download the Skibbity Toilet song, extract the vocals using spectral layers, and then laid it down in the project. I set the BPM to 105 because I want this song to be groovy. Now to get that Crush Funk sound, you want to find any pixelator or resampler effect and you put it in the master track. This will give the entire project a quote-unquote 8-bit sound. I'm going to be using Kilohertz Big Crush as the pixelator effect. Now I'll put down a 4x4 kick pattern and a hi-hat pattern. Now you're already hearing that 8-bit sound effect from the Bit Crush plugin that I put on the Master Bus. Now I'll put that in a GAT bit. <laughs> I'll put a bouncy bass sound. And another one. Now I'll design a square-like cowbell sound using Serum and create a moving melody that goes along with the bass. Make sure it has that flicking thing as you hear right here. You hear this? And then I'll add another cowbell. And don't ever forget the sub bass. I added video game sound effects across the project. Oh my 
my god! Did a little bit of mixing and mastering. Here's what I got. Oh my god! What about Chippy Chippy Champa Champa? The original song is called Doobie Doobie Doo! It's by the singer Christelle. It was sang in a popular TV show in Chile. Now it's a cat meme on the internet. So I tried to extract the vocals from the song, but I was getting a lot of artifacts from the audio. So it wasn't really usable for the project. What I ended up doing is recording my own voice. Yeah, I know, I don't sound good. While throwing some auto tune and pitching audio warp so it won't sound nothing like me. And it still sounds bad. I'll set the BBM to 100. I'm just feeling lazy today. <laughs> I'll craft some dirty basses using serum. <laughs> well, why I even said it like that? Had a lot of saturation, lots of EQ moves, this thermal thing, and the drop. Now it sounds thick. And the sub bass. Now I'll just copy the melody from the bass and put it on the cowbell. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's it. I'll put down a Brazil funk drum beat, you know, kick and snare. And I'll take the kick and then reverse the kick. I'll also record more voices where I go the And don't forget the at the ho And reverse it. And here's the chippy chop of funk. Let's do a classic meme, Coffin Dance. The song is originally called Astronomio by Vistone and Tony Iggy. And the funny thing is, the meme video has more views than the original video. <laughs> I've remixed this song in an electric swing style if you want to check it out. But for this one, I'm going to go for a chill funk style. I'll keep this BPM at 120 and I'll lay down a simple 4x4 drum beat with that thumpy kick and that lo-fi snare. Open hi-hat on every second and fourth beat and that tambourine. The drum beat shouldn't be complex. Now I'll add a piano with a lot of reverb to make it sound very nostalgic. Then I'll craft a synth and serum and create intervals playing a counter melody to give it a space vibe along with the piano. The cab will pretty much play the main melody. Then I added another one with a lot of reverb. Then I cut off the low frequencies from all these instruments to leave room for the sub. Good tip if you want to make your sub bass more present in the mix, add a saturation plug into the sub. This gives harmonics to the sub that makes it sound brighter. From there, you can EQ to your liking. And don't ever EQ the sub alone. If you do, I will find you and take your computer away. Now I want to make this track sound more ambient and I was trying to find an instrument that captured that vibe. Then I was thinking, why not vocal chops? So I browsed through vocals from various sample packs. There was a lot of vocals that I liked, but I didn't know which one to choose. So I decided to take them all and Frankenstein them into one melodic line, doing a lot of pitch edits, audio warping, crossfades, adding a lot of effects like compressors, EQs, and reverb to make this melody flow smoothly. I browsed through the internet to find some Memphis rap song, I stumbled across this one, extract the vocals, put it in the track. Don't forget the sidechain everything to the kick. And here's what I got. That's all I got for today. Make sure to subscribe.